In this series, I'm breaking down machine learning algorithms in the easiest and most practical way possible. This is part six, random forest, the algorithm that fixes the biggest weakness of decision trees. So what is a random forest? Imagine you're trying to decide where to eat. If you ask one friend, you might get a biased answer based on their personal taste. But if you ask 10 friends and takes the most common suggestion, you are more likely to get a solid recommendation. That's exactly how random forest works. Instead of relying on one decision tree, it creates hundreds of trees, each trained on a random subset of data and then averages the predictions to make the final decision. This makes it much more accurate and stable than a single decision tree. So how does it work? The algorithms take the original data set and randomly selects multiple smaller samples and this is called bootstrapping. Then it builds a decision tree on each of those samples and when making a prediction all trees vote and the majority answer wins. So where is a random forest used? It can be used for fraud detection so banks use it to spot suspicious transactions or even stock market predictions so analysts use it to forecast price trends. When does it fail? Well, random forest is powerful, but it can be slow when dealing with massive data sets because it has to build and consult hundreds of trees. If you need real-time predictions or have extremely high dimensional data, algorithms like the graded boosting might work better. Follow me for the next part of this series where we'll break down another ML algorithm in the simplest way possible.